let's talk about the heat treatment process the heat treatment to form martensite consists of the two steps first one is austenitizing and second one is quenching these steps are often by followed by tempering to produce tempered martensite austenitizing involves heating the steel to a sufficiently high temperature that it is converted entirely or partially to austenite this temperature can be determined from the phase diagram for the particular alloy composition the transformation to austenite involves a phase change which requires time as well as heat accordingly the steel must be held at the elevated temperature for a sufficient period of time to allow the new phase to form and the required homogeneity of composition to be achieved the cooling rate depends on the quenching medium and the rate of heat transfer within the steel workpiece various quenching media are used in commercial heat treatment practice the first one is brine that means salt water usually agitated second one is fresh water still not agitated still oil and fourth one is air quenching is agitated brine provides the fastest cooling of the heated part surface whereas air quench is the slowest trouble is the more effective the quenching media is at cooling the more likely it is to cause internal stresses distortion and cracks in the product the rate of heat transfer within the part depends largely on its mass and geometry a large cubic shape will cool much more slowly than a small thin sheet the coefficient of thermal conductivity k of the card particular composition is, is also a factor in the flow of heat in the metal there is considerable variation in k for different grades of steel for example plain low carbon steel has a typical k value equal to 0.046 joule per second whereas a highly alloyed steel might have one third that value martensite is is hard and brittle tempering is a heat treatment applied to harden steel to reduce brittleness increase ductility and toughness and relieve stresses in the martensite structure it involves heating and soaking at a temperature below the austenitizing level for about 1 hour followed by slow cooling this results in pretty precipitation of very fine carbide particles from the mart martensitic iron carbon solution and it gradually transforms the crystal structure from bct to bcc this new structure is called temper martensite a slight reduction in strength and hardness accompanies the improvements in ductility and toughness the temperature and time of the tempering treatment control the degree of softening in the hardened steel because the change from untempered to tempered martensite involves diffusion and there is a diagram so vertically there is temperature so this one is set in degree celsius and this one is in degree fahrenheit and this is the time horizontally so uh, near about 8 degree celsius it is austenitizing so there is rapid quenching so after rapid quenching again the temperature is increased and just below the 400 degrees celsius it is called tempering and after tempering or during the tempering the temp uh, the uh, temperature is reduced slowly or slow cooling is done and there is a figure how quenching is performed and the specimen is a test specimen and the length is 102 mm and the diameter is uh, 25.4 mm and the water is 
supplied and the temperature of water is 24 degrees Celsius or 75 degree Fahrenheit. And there is another diagram. This is a hardness versus distance from the quench end. And thank you for being with.